hello and welcome to my channel i have forgotten that i will need to make another video this year as i want to show you my january setup in my planner please excuse my nails they look horrible i know anyway and as you can see my planner stack has grown a bit since last time i talked about my system because i did have need for a few more things that i um just had to add and there's some stuff removed uh well at least from my tn um i i i still use it but it doesn't have to be with my planner all the time anyway so let's start with something you have might have seen in the last video which is my budget ring uh planner stuff um binder it it has my monthly budget or like spending tracker more like and some envelopes i will probably need another one because it will it's already almost full and i haven't even started filling the envelopes so but those are relatively cheap so it's fine now i had to add this one it is just a inexpensive little like planner for stuff that um i had one of these uh, or something similar last year it's just lying on the living room table for me and my husband uh for like meal planning or grocery lists and um trash collection days stuff like that it's nothing fancy it's just it's really just a shitty pl paper planner with like weeks where i can just uh note stuff down that we have to see both this is this is all it's, it was like i don't even know it was like 10 bucks not even i think then i well i'm still using my five-year planner or my five-year journal i should say which i i did fill since like mm, i've i've missed a few months but i did uh, fill in bits here and there because i did have like pictures of the stuff we have done and so i knew basically what we've done that day so i filled those in but it's it's not completely filled on for the first year i hope next year i will be better <laughs> and um then another thing i had to buy is this one it's a um, 12 month planner a horizontal one by paper blanks it is just um uh, months and uh every week on two pages it has two bookmarks it has a address book in insert which i will be removing a pocket and an elastic band it's very pretty i will be using this actually i will be using this like i was uh, supposed to use this one in 2021 uh, i did have a review for this i will link it up like in the cards um but it was so small and when i looked at it again i i really liked it the info that it has uh i wanted the bigger one and i looked at it again and it was like almost 60 euro with like shipping and that is not something i can justify for a planner that is supposed to be for my like anything spiritual practice wise or like tarot or something and i cannot spend like 60 bucks on this so i got this one and said um like in a brick and mortar store and it's fine it has like months um the moon cycles and like 
the um, equinoxes and stuff and the rest I can fill in myself and if I only use it for like I don't know 10-15 days it's not I, I'm not going to cry over it because I spent 60 bucks on it so yes it also is pretty and I very much like it and the size is not as small as the other one and then I have of course the main course my planner or rather my traveler's notebook if you um, have seen my first time I uh, introduced this I had a different cover I have now bought for myself for Christmas a leather cover on Amazon uh, which was quite inexpensive for a cover that has like a reinforced bag and like pockets and stuff and very nice stitching the leather wasn't perfect I have to admit it's by uh, September leather I first saw this one on uh, a YouTube channel by um, what's her name Key Lime Inc and uh, she introduced uh, me to those like leather covers that they also have an a5 one and a smaller one and I bought one and it was it was very cheap comparably and um, the leather was not perfect but I did use a leather conditioner on it and it turned out very nice i i really like it it's also very sturdy and thick so this is my new travel notebook basically um i'll just remove the the pens it does have a pen loop but it's very small for my pen and what do we have here the first thing is my planner it's still my nolte but I decided to remove the black cover and put it into my travels notebook. It sort of fits. It is a bit too small, uh, too, too, too big. The cover is a bit too small for it, but it, it works. I'm not like, I'm not OCD about it. I don't, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> and I have the, um, my like annual book, which I've, put into this uh, notebook out of my um, weeks insert into an MD paper lights insert in B6 I'll flip through I'll flip through it later <laughs> so this is still my Nolte planner I'll show you the setup in a bit and I still have my uh, journal insert I have a few of those inserts but I've only used it up until like half of it so I'll probably use it the last half in the next year I don't write a lot <laughs> and um, this is my uh, like notebook for it just jotting down stuff and this is a sticker book and I did have a like sticker block in here for seasonal stickers that I use in my planner but I removed it as I really set up my planner with stickers once a month and I don't need it in here I just have it on my desk where I am using it so anyway this is my planner uh, we have here you, you might have seen this in uh, the previous planner video that I've done um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to use this page. Uh, I have a few days left, but I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I, I, I have no idea what I can use this for. This was my December page, but I have actually decided that I will not be using this for like appointments and stuff because I don't, I don't actually look at this. It doesn't work for me I do look at it for like birthdays and holidays as I don't have um, the details in the, my weeks I only have like birthday holiday and stuff so I look at it whose birthday it is what kind of holiday blah blah but I will but I will be using the monthly pages for uh, like this is the next month 
for little blurbs about what happened that day. If I need, ever need to, like, uh, back uh, write or back fill my um, five year journal, I can just look at this and know what I actually done that day or something that happened. So this is my January setup. I have uh, holidays, I have birthdays, I have a event and some stickers. That's it. And I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to fill in the appointments because honestly, I don't use this for the appointments. I use my weeklies for this. And um, so this is this week i have like a paper in in here so i can flip to the current week all the time um i i have changed some of this because um i'll just explain it so this is my uh, next week and i've already stick it up uh, for all of January, almost all of January. This one will be a February week, so I haven't done this yet. And how I have changed my tracker is, I have actually put my tracker in here and I've added a sleep tracker that would be like a graph. And this will be my running to-do list. And these bits that I've used before for like stuff that happened which i'm now doing in the monthlies i will be using for day specific to do's and um yeah basically what i do is i write down when i woke up sometimes the weight i might use this one for my weight chart but i probably won't and um yeah just appointments stuff that happens blah just the usual planner stuff and um, this is how I've changed it I've actually uh, done a test in the bag for the December weeks um, this is what it will look like um, because I don't I probably won't be using the December since I will be in my new planner because all planners start in December so yeah or most of the, the ones that I use at least and uh, yeah, I do have still the back pages mostly unused. Um, and uh, this is my annual book that I have migrated into this MD paper. Uh, like instead, it comes in a three pack, and I like it better than the very small weeks insert. And um, what I have here is stuff that I will be using all here, which I don't want to change if I do change my planner, which might happen, as we know. So um, this is just builds and stuff, which I also have in my budget planner, but I like to have it in here too. Work stuff, beauty and wellness stuff, and um, like chore stuff that are not like that are regular but not like always on the same day or something that where I can see when was the last time I cleaned the garage or exchanged the the filters in the uh, range hood you know the the thing that's over the oven <laughs> and um Sports and exercise, which I don't know if I will be filling, but you know, everything is possible, I guess. Writing, reading log, which is not a lot, but I don't know how much I will be reading. Watching is a lot, because I know that we will be watching a lot, like we always do. And purchases and shipments and stuff uh, to keep track of. Um, then I have a wish list, a gift ideas list, a 23 in 2023 list, which is 23 things I want to do in 2023. And um, yeah, I'll see how much of this I will manage. Then I have meal ideas and a weight chart, which I will probably be 
using um then some my someday maybe list for things that i might want to do someday maybe like it says and then the weight of my cats <laughs> i have three cats and um two of them are very small or rather they used to be small and um they are growing now but i want to check their weight so that i know that they are getting enough food or who is stealing from whom you know because cats <laughs> and uh the rest is um uh, nothing in there I, I i don't know maybe i'll pull it maybe i won't um so yeah this is my annual book which is just tucked in here uh with my planner which i still love i i'm i'm still using it and uh, i removed the um, sketchbook insert because i didn't have any strings left i might uh, get another string and I'll just string it between two of the books i don't know but i don't use it a lot so uh i might not i have two pens in here that i use for my planner and the fonter pen i use for my journal and uh that's it basically so yeah i have like two things or three things rather that i've added into my stack uh which is like the budget and the spiritual planner and the household planner which are sadly i needed i i didn't like using it last time but uh i realized <laughs> that it's very useful <laughs> and i really need it so yeah i just got a cheap one and uh, my budget planner which is very old if you've seen my video it's from 1996 it's very old and this one this is very pretty i will be using this for my spiritual stuff and still my journal and my main planner uh travel the snowboard so yeah um i showed you my january setup i can i can flip through it once more um if you missed it <laughs> um this is Christmas this is this week so yeah I all I've did is stickers birthdays holidays um, and my I've already um, done my tracker and stuff so that I don't because I if I if I have to do it every week I probably won't so I'm doing this once a month and uh, yeah I, li I like it so far the, the, it worked for me last month uh i mean of course it's a bit uh, stupid if i have to change something like one week in i can't because i've already done the setup and stuff but i can wait a month i'm not like i can wait i'm not so ocd about it <laughs> so yeah that's my setup and the stuff that i'm using and i hope i'm pretty sure that's the last video for this year um i might do a february setup but i i don't think so because uh, if nothing changes you don't need to see me put in stickers into my planner like honestly i mean i'm i'm sure i i know a lot of people who do that every week or every month and they have a lot to say and i i enjoy those videos but i'm not going to do that because i don't have a lot to say about stickers and <laughs> my like my my setup if i have a new planner or maybe i'll show my uh my inks like i have a lot of inks up here and my fondant pens or something like that uh, but if nothing changes or like anything that's majorly like interesting i'm not going to make another video on this at least on my planner because so far it's working and i do hope it will be working for the next few months so there's nothing to change i might do a flip through like six months in if i'm still using it 
but otherwise that's it so yeah i um hope you liked the little update and um i'll see you next time bye